And welcome back. If difficulty hearing is cramping your style, you'll want to turn up the volume for our next guests. They are audiologists from Palmetto Audiology and Speech Therapy, Dr. Kristen Bish and Dr. Holly Bayen. Join us to talk about hearing loss. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. And I'm really excited to talk about some of the new technology right now that's on the market. And we'll get to that in a little bit. But first, let's talk about the Brunch and Learn that you're going to be holding in Somerville. Okay, we have a Brunch and Learn coming up um, on the 8th, mm -hmm. so next week. Uh, it is at the Perkins in Somerville. I know exactly where that is. Old Trolley. Old Trolley, Old Trolley Road. Road. Mm -hmm. Right across the street from our office. Yeah. And we will be talking a little bit about hearing loss mm -hmm. and the causes of hearing loss and what you can do to help yourself find treatment for that hearing loss. Absolutely. Well, Dr. Bayan, what are some forms of hearing loss? There's more than one. Yeah. There is. Mm -hmm. There is a there's sensory neural hearing loss, which is a nerve damage. Mm -hmm. And there's also what we call conductive hearing loss, which mm -hmm. is more medically treatable. It can be wax in the ear, fluid uh -huh. in the ear from an ear infection. Now, do you find that more like in, in your younger patients? We do, do you find that in older? We do. Okay. We can see it in older as well, but mostly in children we see that in mm -hmm. the pediatric division. Now, here's another question for you. Is there a stigma involved with hearing loss? Because I would assume this brunch and learn is kind of an intimate setting. You say there's no pressure, mm -hmm. uh, no pressure to buy or anything, but more of an information gathering. So is there a stigma involved with hearing loss? That Absolutely. You find? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. People are almost embarrassed sometimes that they have hearing loss, so a lot of times they will just smile and nod and... Uh -huh. You know, when they really don't understand what's being said. And that really affects their quality of life. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so when they do come into the office, what are some of the things that they <clears throat> ask you initially? What are some things that they're exhibiting? Um, initially, they're just curious about the hearing loss, mm -hmm. you know, what's caused it. Um, we get into the causations and things that you know, they can do to kind of help themselves to hear right. their family. A lot of times their family notices it even before they mm -hmm. do uh -huh. um, or their loved ones do. Mm -hmm. Now um, here's another question I'm curious to know. Is there some gradual hearing loss as you age? Is that expected? Is that normal? It is, I wouldn't say that it's normal because people think, come in and think that, gosh, my hearing is normal because right. I'm 85 years old. Okay. <laughs> um, and so it is common for mm -hmm. hearing loss to occur with aging. Okay. Go, okay, go. Well, I'm not in that category. I've got about 40 <laughs> more years before I get to that point, but I kind of think I'm already losing it because as a young child, my mom, I guess she was smart, but then it also kind of hurt me too wearing headphones such mm -hmm. because she didn't want to hear the loud music, then I would turn it up. So that can right. really... And, right. and part of it is a lot of our patients, more and more of our patients are coming in in their 30s, 40s, and 50s mm -hmm. because of our lifestyle. It's, That's it's right, very wearing noisy. the little earbuds, earbuds and you're listening to your mm -hmm. music and all of that. And let's speaking of that and iPhones and earbuds, tell us about the new technology that's on the market right now. We have a brand new hearing aid that is releasing from one of our manufacturers today yeah. that is a made for iPhone hearing aid. Okay. So there is no streamers. It connects directly to your iPhone, mm -hmm. your iPad, or your iPod touch. Right. And you can make adjustments to it mm -hmm. or you can also um, stream telephone conversations and music directly really? to your mm -hmm. hearing. And we have a model here this morning. We is do. she? Is she? Mm -hmm. Oh, I almost didn't see She's it earlier, it, yes. but it's right in. If you can turn your your mm -hmm. ear just right there and put your hair your hair back just a little bit. There we go. You can almost see it there. It's really like flesh tone. You really mm -hmm. can't tell that it's there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so will people be able, when they come to the Brunch and Learn next week, they'll be able to get more information about this device because that's yes. hardly noticeable at all. Yes. They're, they come in all different shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. um, we shape them to your hearing loss, your lifestyle, your budget. Um, mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times people have questions about hearing aids, they start at about $700 and okay. go up from there. Are any um, covered under insurance? or Absolutely. And okay. if we get the diagnostic test done by a doctor of audiology, it is mm -hmm. covered by most of your main carriers mm -hmm. like Blue Cross Blue Shield and Medicare. Um, there's There are insurance benefits from a lot of companies, from a okay. lot of hearing aid or from a lot of insurance companies, right? Um, but then we can talk about financing and lifestyle changes and okay, good. you know things that help. Absolutely, because you so you kind of walk people through that process because it doesn't have it doesn't mean the end of the world if you start because there's there are treatments out there there are hearing aids like that and some can be treated uh, with with medicines and, and medicines treatments. and surgeries. Correct. Absolutely, <clears throat> absolutely. Well, all right. So once again, that brunch and learn is happening April the eighth. At the Perkins there in Old Trolley Road in Somerville, if you're concerned about hearing loss or maybe you know of someone who might be going through that and you might want to go do some information gathering for them, you can make your reservations at 843-871-3235. Ladies, thank you so much thank for joining for us this us. morning. Thank you for thank having you. us. Stay tuned for our author spotlights coming up right after the break. <laughs> 